nice etching ink. Um, I like to add a little bit of linseed oil to loosen it up. I've printed this record many times and I've done quite a bit of physical manipulation to it. I've sanded it in various places so that the grooves have disappeared. And then I just take some of this ink and focus on kind of one quarter of the record. Because again, only part of the record will print. So this is just like inking up a, an etched metal plate and the, you know, wiping it and all that is the same process. Okay, this plate is inked up. So I'm just gonna um, carefully position it in my stencil here. Usually for this kind of work, I'll, I'll start with some pre-printed thin papers. So right now I think I have some Kitakata and some Salago, which is I guess Philippine Gompi. Another type of Gompi tissue here. Uh, this is Kitakata, Kitakata. And they're printed with various techniques, but the important thing to note is that yeah, I'm coming to the press with all of these uh, kind of pre-prepared, pre-pasted uh, sources that I can collage on the spot. I like to do this uh, because it adds kind of an improvisational element to my work. So I think I'm gonna sort of use this here maybe. Have that. So this would uh, kind of slightly overlap the section that's gonna print down here on their own. This could probably use a little moisture. So they tend to relax and then within a few minutes they curl back up. But position this very carefully. Um, everything's pre-pasted. The moisture in my dampened printing paper should reactivate the paste. Sometimes I will lightly mist this just to give it a, a helping hand. Uh, for instance, in this area underneath this piece of paper, ink is going to print and that is helped along a little bit by some moisture. So I just kind of misted this paper earlier just to get it hydrated. And so I want to just carefully make contact with the Chincolet papers. And then I need to back this up with newsprint. Just like that. Blankets. And there is the finished print. So the next step would be pinning it up on the wall to dry. And as it dries, it shrinks and kind of pulls tight and everything kind of consolidates a little more. So that is the basic process. Mm -hmm.